Hello friends. In the last uh, session we have seen the definition of charge and current. So in this this session we will be seeing about the definitions of voltage and power. Now in the last session we have talked something about uh, charge transfer, right? We have talked something about charge transfer. Now when you are transferring charge, it means that there is some work being done. Work being done to move that charge. So we are talking something like work done per coulomb. Okay. So the quantification of the work being done is done by something which is defined as a voltage. So what is voltage? The voltage is the work being done in moving. Work being done in moving a charge from one terminal to another. To put it in a simple drawing, this is the circuit element, and uh, if I put something like this here, so this is the current which is getting transferred and it is coming out of the circuit element. So the entire transfer of this process takes some work. So that is what you call as voltage. Now, the voltage is usually, as I have told you, it is joules per coulomb. The joules per coulomb. Or it has a unit of volts, it is simply termed as V. Now, what does the voltage representation contain? The voltage, like current has a direction and magnitude. The voltage has a magnitude, of course it has a, it has a magnitude and then it has a sign. Okay, so what sign? It has a plus minus sign. It has a plus minus sign. So here, if I put a voltage V here, it means that this voltage V is driving the current through the circuit element. Now, at this point we have to understand certain sign conventions which is going to be throughout this session, throughout this lecture and throughout the course as well. So, let me put four different cases here. These are all circuit elements. One, two, three and four. Okay, now let us name the terminals here A, B, A, B, A, B, A, and B. Alright, now I have told you the voltage has a sign, so we put signs here plus minus, minus plus, plus minus, and minus plus. Okay, everything is going to be called V here. All the voltage is V and let me put down the magnitude here. The voltage V here is equal to minus 5 and here it is plus 5 and here it is plus 5 and here it is minus 5. Let us understand what each of these things mean. So let me mark it as A, B, C and D cases. Alright. Now what does this terminal mean? You can clearly see that the A has, the V has its positive and negative terminal and the A, the case number 1, A is having the positive terminal and B has the negative. What does this mean? This means that the potential at VA, alright, is positive with respect to the potential at B, okay. Now, what does that mean? VA is positive with respect to VB by minus 5 volt. Now, I want you to understand that in circuits, you don't have to correct things here. Now, just because V is given to be minus 5 volt, you need not change that to plus 5 volt and reverse the sign. You don't have to do that. 
because in any calculation the sign can even change is going to help you so don't bother about changing it so if i have to put v a with respect to b so v a p means voltage of a with respect to b in the a case it is minus 5 volt okay so in reality because it is a minus sign here b is actually uh, plus 5 volt more than a okay but we are bothered about the outside conversion zone so let me put that also here this is v a b is actually equal to minus v b a so in this case in this case v b a will be equal to minus v a v a b and that is equal to minus of minus 5 volt and it is equal to plus 5 volt so in this case actually i don't want to emphasize this too much because people might get confused here the terminal at b is actually 5 volt more than a but you don't have to see it in that way because the definition which has been given by the author is that a is positive with respect to b now it might seem a little bit confusing now but when we go through the other cases everything is going to be clear let us take now case number b and let us see what it has in store for us now so clearly we can see that in case number b b has the positive potential and a has the negative potential so what does that mean based on what we have studied in case b so b b a okay so in this case b b a is equal to plus 5 volt why right? b is positive here and a is negative here it means that b is plus 5 volt positive with respect to a now i would like to emphasize here is that b is plus 5 volt more as compared to potential at a now usually in electrical analysis electrical circuit analysis the reference potential is always ground potential or zero volt therefore we can tell that b is equal to 5 volt the way so when the ground is at zero we can tell that b b with respect to ground is 5 volt but the actual definition is that the potential at b is 5 volt more than the potential at terminal A. So let's take the next case. See here. In that, in this case, it is given that A is positive, A is positive, and B is negative. So I put B A B, and that value is given to be plus 5 volt. Okay, so that means A is 5 volts more than as compared to potential at B. And let us take the final case D here. So A is connected to negative. And B is connected to positive. So if we take V B A, that is equal to minus 5 volt. So what is this? The reference is given to be plus to B and minus to A. So that means the potential at B is minus 5 volt positive with respect to potential at A. Okay. So, or else I can tell that VB is positive with respect to VA by minus 5 volt. Now, let me just summarize all these things into one drawing here. Let me just get to the next page. Okay, so let me just put one drawing here. Okay, you are having a terminal A and you are having a terminal B. This is like this. And B is equal to plus 5 volt. B is equal to plus 5 volt. So, what do you put? V A with respect to B is equal to plus 5 volt. Now let us have another case here. Let's take another case. So this is A terminal, this is B terminal, this is plus, this is minus, and B is given to be minus 5 volt. Now I urge you people, all of who you are listening to this lecture, never try to correct these negative voltages. Don't try to put positive and reverse this sign. Because in all your numericals, this negative is useful. Because we will be following passive sign convention. In this case, negative signs will be taken care of by calculating power, current, etc. So you just have to put B A B is equal to minus 5 volt. Or B is equal to minus 5 volt in this case, and B is equal to plus 5 volt in this case. Now the next topic which we are going to do is power. The next topic that we are going to do is power. Now Power is actually the rate at which the rate at which energy 
is expanded. Expanded in the sense generated or uh, consumed. Now, let us see what was the voltage. Voltage was actually work done per work done per coulomb, right? Work done per charge. And what is current? The current was number of coulomb per second. Okay. So if you want to the rate, if you want to find the rate at which work is done, the rate at which work is done, it means that the power should be proportional to the product of V and I. Or in fact, power is equal to the product of voltage and current. So let's do the dimensional analysis here. V into I. What are the units? Let us see. V into I. The unit of V. So it is joules per coulomb multiplied by coulomb per second. It will give you joules per second. And that was what we have given the definition of power as well. It is the rate at which work is done. So let me just change it from energy to work. rate at which work is done. So that is joules per second. Okay. Now let us just close this session with a simple problem here. Okay. Let us have the element here. We are having some element here. Okay. And A and B are the terminals. And it is given that A is positive with respect to B and what value of the voltage is given to be minus 5 volt. And there is some current which is going inside the positive terminal and coming out of the negative terminal. And let us say that the current is 2 amperes. Now clearly you can see that the current I is entering the positive terminal, right? The current I is entering the positive terminal. That means somebody is pushing this current through, through the element. Or I can tell that the element, the element is absorbing power element is absorbing power based on the directions of current and directions of voltage. Now here comes the first passive sign convention which we are going to use for power. The passive sign convention. Alright. This is very important and we will be doing a number of problems just to reinforce this concept. What it tells us, what is the passive sign convention? It tells us that when current enters, when current enters, the positive terminal of the element when the current enters the positive terminal of the element it is absorbing power so let me put it mathematically i will tell that power absorbed will have a positive sign of course by calculating it might come to a negative sign also but starting of the calculation you have to put a plus sign there. when you get a negative sign it actually means that the element is actually delivering power. So then you can correct yourself. You started out with positive and finally when you calculate, you put the voltage, put the current, you get a negative value. You just tell that, okay, the power absorbed is negative, so actually the material was delivering power. But this is the convention that you have to use. Alright? And the second convention is that when the current leaves the positive terminal, the current is leaving the positive terminal, the material does not absorb power, it generates power. So the power generated by the element, the power generated by the element will be positive. Alright. Now in this case, let us see what, what let us use the sign conventions. So you can clearly see that the current is entering the positive terminal. The current is entering the positive terminal of the element. So what does the sign convention tell? It tells us that the power absorbed by the element will be positive. So just put that positive sign outside. And what is the voltage given? It is given to be minus 5 volt. Alright? Because this plus minus is given in the question and they have given to the value to be minus 5 volt. So don't bother correcting that. So minus 5 volt into the current is given to be plus 2 amperes. So you get minus 10 volts. So what does this mean? It tells us that you have started with absorption of power but actually the material is delivering power. So in this case, the material is not absorbing power, it is actually generating power. So, I can tell that the material is absorbing, material absorbs minus 10 watts or the material 
I should not put material. I should put element. The element absorbs minus 10 watts, or the element generates plus 10 watts. It means that the power absorbed will be equal to negative of the power generated. Let us do a few problems here to continue this. So. This is given to be plus minus 2 volt and this is given to be 3 ampere. So let us see what happens. The current is entering the positive terminal. See the current is entering the positive terminal. So the power absorbed will be having a positive side, right? So that multiplied by the voltage is going to be 2 volt and the current is given to be 3 amperes. So you get 6 volts. Next case is given to be plus minus minus 2 volt. And the current is given to be minus 3 amperes. Oh, sorry, it's not plus minus here. Yeah. I'll just correct it. I'm sorry. It is plus minus here. So let's again use sign convention here. The current is entering the positive terminal. Now you just have to, it is not that always the positive sign will be on the top and the negative sign will be in the bottom. You can clearly see here the positive sign is in the bottom and the negative sign is on the top. So you just have to see where the current enters. So you can clearly see that the current enters the positive terminal of the element. Therefore, the power absorbed will be positive. Okay. And what is the voltage value? The voltage value is given to be minus 2 volt. So minus 2 into current value is minus 3 and it is equal to 6 volts. Okay. And let me take the third case. The third case is you are having plus minus 4 volt. And the current value is given to be minus 5 amperes. So let us see what happens. Here also, the current is entering the current enters in the cell. The direction of the current is given to be in the uh, entering the positive side. Power absorbed is positive. So you get a plus sign outside, and 4 into minus 5 is equal to minus 20 volts. Okay. And the last case, I just put the last case here. Oh, we have only this much case. Okay, if you want, we can put one more case here. So, plus minus 4 volt. Let me put the current in this direction. 5 amperes in this direction. Okay. So, you can clearly see here that the current is leaving the positive terminal. Okay. So, power generated will be positive in this case. Right. The current is leaving the positive terminal. The voltage is 4 volt. The current is 5. So, you okay. get plus 20. In this case, the power generated will be equal to minus 6 watts. In this case, the material is actually, you got power absorbed to be minus 20 watts. So, the power generated will be equal to plus 20 watts. Now, if you want actually, you can just redraw this and see just for your observation. I will never recommend you to redraw this in any problems you attempt, but this is just for understanding. So, the voltage is as you like it, plus minus 4 volts, no confusion there. The current is given to be initially in this direction, right? The current is given to be in this direction. So now, what we will do, we will reverse the current direction. We will reverse the current direction and we will put the current direction in this direction. It has not come out well. Let me rub it once again. Yeah. So the current direction is given to be in this. I will put it in the opposite direction. And what was the initial value? Minus 5 right here. So when I put reverse the direction, I have to reverse the current value as well. So it is 5 amp. So you can clearly see by sign convention itself, let me put the current is leaving the positive terminal. So power generated will be equal to positive. So plus 4 into 5 is equal to 20 volts. So friends, in the next lecture, we will be going through a number of problems we leave, which uh, give power absorption, power generated concepts. We will be also trying to introduce the concepts of independent voltage source and dependent voltage source, independent current source, dependent current sources. And once we complete all that, we will be doing lot of problems for power absorption, power generated, etc. I hope you have enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Thank you.